Hello students, welcome to our lesson for today. Today we are going to discuss about employment opportunities and qualifications in the tourism and hospitality industry. Are you ready? Let's start. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the available jobs in the airline industry, discuss the employment opportunities in hotels and motels, clarify the career opportunities in the travel agency, explain the job opportunities in the cruise line industry, be familiar with the available jobs in motor coaches, describe the career fields in the car rental industry, and explain the employment opportunities in the gaming and entertainment industry. Tourism has acquired the distinction of being one of the world's largest industries as it is also contributing a lot to the economic growth of a country or a tourist destination. It consists many components such as transportation, accommodation, food service, tourist destinations and attractions, travel brokers, and other travel-related services. Tourism is a diverse and complex industry, and each sector offers several career and employment opportunities. So here are the different tourism sectors that offers employment opportunities. We have the airlines, travel agencies, hotels and motels, motor coaches, cruise lines, car rental companies. First is the airline jobs. The first job that we will discuss in the airline industry is flight attendant. The position of a flight attendant has evolved from the career that was once called stewardess, hostess, or stewards. In the past, employees who filled this position were young, female, unmarried, attractive, and required to be nurses. After a lawsuit filed by a young man claiming he was denied by a steward position because of his sex, the airlines had to consider both men and women for the position, thus the evolution of the flight attendant. The primary responsibility of the flight attendant is to see to it that the passengers are comfortable. Travelers often form their impressions of the airline, whether positive or negative, on their experiences with the flight attendant. The flight attendant performs several personal services conducive to the safety and comfort of airline passengers during flight, greets passengers, verifies tickets, records destinations, and assigns seats, explain use of safety belts, oxygen masks, and life jackets, and serves previously prepared meals and beverages. So the requirements for the job vary per airline, but generally this job requires the ability to remain calm and pleasant, coupled with physical stamina necessary to remain on duty for several hours. Another requirement is an average to tall in height and weight must be proportionate with height. This is for safety and security reasons because flight attendants need to perform some security procedures that requires height. Excellent English language skills are also required. If one works on an international airline, a second language is an asset. Generally, they should be excellent since the flight attendant must be physically able to cope with all emergencies. All airlines stress the importance of appearance and various airlines provide individual training programs for flight attendants. Advancement from the flight attendant position depends on um, seniorities and merit. And non-flying positions into which flight attendants may be promoted include instructor, customer service director, and recruiting representatives. So flight attendants may also become members of an airline's advertising and public relations staff. The primary benefit of a flight attendant's work is availability of free or reduced travel rate, 
wherein many airlines offer this benefit not only to their own employees, but also to employees of competitive airlines. Thus, the choices of trips of flight attendants are not limited to their own employers' routes, but include the routes by other carriers that have exchange agreements with their employer. Another job is ticket agents, reservation agents, and clerks. So reservation agents and clerks who work for major carriers work in large central offices where they become the link between telephone inquiries and the computer terminal. Typically, the agents answer questions on flight schedules and seat availability and make reservations. So their work brings them in telephone contact with the general public, travel agents, as well as their own company's ticket agents. Ticket agents uh, work at airport ticket counters and in central city ticket offices, and their duties include answering questions about fares and schedules, handing out timetables and literature, checking with the reservation agent, and checking the computer reservation system to book uh, tickets and then issue airline tickets. Another job is the airline food service. So it is a behind the scene position, but an essential one in the airline industry. So the prerequisite for this position is an airline food service, uh, is an educational training in food service or practical experience in the hotel or restaurant field. Another position is the flight dispatcher. So the flight dispatcher gives permission for the aircraft of specific airlines to take off. So for example, PALS flight dispatcher um, concerns all PAL carriers at a given airport. The dispatcher evaluates all factors of the flight, including the airplane status, the crew, weather information, and other details. So it gives constant communication between the dis dispatcher and the crew so they should inform of any delays at the airport caused by weather or crowded airspace air conditions. Another position is operations or station ramp agents. The responsibilities of operations and station ramp agents are the supervision and loading of baggage and cargo. So cargo weight must be evenly distributed by these agents with a corresponding list of members and passengers recorded. They coordinate the transfer of baggage from connecting flights while taking on new luggage at stopover airports. These agents are also responsible for announcing arrivals and departures. Another job is the sales manager or district sales manager. Sales managers and district sales managers oversee ticket and reservation offices, supervise sales representatives, and promote traffic on their airlines. So they maintain contact with local travel agents and tour operators to keep them informed on the latest airline promotions. And their relationship often means a discount to the travel agents or tour operators for their clients. However, the sales manager will remain, maintain a profit for the airline on the basis of volume in these cases. Another position is the airline lounge receptionist. So typically their job is to assist guests to and members to the airline lounge. And they also verify membership cards. They also serve food and beverages to the members at the gate lounge or at the lounge. And then they answer questions on flight schedules and terminal facilities. Next is the flight attendant supervisor. So the FA supervisor supervises and coordinates uh, activities of a flight attendant and then assigns duties and areas of work to flight attendants. They also observe activities of employees to evaluate work performance and maintains personal records, explains and demonstrates methods and procedures for performing tasks and prepares evaluation reports on the performance of employees. Next is ramp flight attendant. 
So the RAM flight attendant checks flight attendants conformity on personal appearance standards and performance of pre-flight duties during the boarding stage of scheduled airline flights and compiles reports of findings and inspects appearance and grooming of personnel for conformity to company standards. He or she consolidates trip reports and daily checklists of information regarding work performed, emergency equipment, safety procedures, and appearance standards for use by supervisor, prepares a flight register and schedules to indicate assignments and notifies personnel of changes in schedules. Another one is the cruise scheduler. So the cruise scheduler compiles duty rosters of flight crews and maintains records of crew members' flying time, schedules airline flights, prepares flight register, which crew members sign to indicate their preference and availability for flights and time they wish to be called before each flight, types the names of crew members in the flight schedule in the order of seniority to indicate flights to which crew members are assigned, then they post names of extra crew members in the order of seniority on reserve list and selects replacement when needed. So the crew scheduler, they also computes and logs communicate cumulative uh, flying time for crew members and removes crew members' names from flight schedules when their flying time limit has been reached and may notify crew members of assignments using the telephone, or now they might do it through email. Then we also have here the flight crew time clerk. So they usually compile flight time records of flight officers for the payroll and crew scheduling departments. And usually they post data such as time in flight, type of aircraft, mileage flown, weight of aircraft, flight time records using posting machines. They also compare figures with flight officers log to detect and reconcile discrepancies and notifies crew scheduler of total accumulated flight time of each officer and submit pay records to payroll section. So next we have the flight reservations manager. So they usually directs and coordinates flight reservation activities for certified commercial or transport companies. They also review flight reservation reports, conduct comparative studies with other airline reservations, develops methods and procedures designed to improve operating efficiency, and directs investigation of customer complaints regarding reservation service. Another job is gate agent. So the gate agent assists passengers and checks flight tickets at entrance gates or stations when boarding or disembarking airplanes of commercial airlines and examines passenger tickets to ensure that they have the correct flights or seats or directs passengers to correct boarding areas using passenger manifests, seating charts, and flight schedules. The gate agent verifies the names on passenger manifest or separate portion of passenger's ticket and stamps or marks ticket or issues boarding pass to authorize passengers to board the airplane and assist elderly, disabled, or young passengers to board or depart from airplanes such as moving passengers in wheelchairs. Then we also have the gate services supervisor. So the gate services supervisor supervises and coordinates activities of workers engaged in admitting departing passengers to the aircraft and assisting passengers to disembark at terminal exits of commercial airlines. So they also reviews flight schedules and passenger manifests, observes workers to ensure that services to passengers are performed courteously and correctly. Next is the ground host or hostess. The ground host or hostess renders personal services to passengers in airline terminals to facilitate movement of passengers through terminals and create goodwill, greets and welcomes passengers to the terminals, answer questions and advises passengers concerning flight, of flight schedules and accommodations such as arrival or departure time, location of 
concourses and gate selection of seats on aircraft. They also assembles and forwards luggages to departing flights, guides and escorts foreign speaking passengers to designated gates for boarding of aircraft. Next, we have the aircraft log clerk. So the aircraft log clerk keeps records of usage and time intervals between inspection and maintenance of designated airplane parts. They also compiles data from flight schedules, computes and posts amount of time airplanes and individual parts are in use daily using calculating machines. They also maintain card files for individual parts with notations of time used and facts taken from inspection records. They also notifies inspection department when parts and airplanes approach date for inspection, including accumulated time and routing schedules. Prepares reports on scheduled delays caused by mechanical difficulties to be filed with the Federal Aviation Administration in the USA and with the Civil Aeronautics Board in the Philippines. The next is the Airport attendant. So the airport attendant periodically inspects buildings and hangars to detect fire hazards and violations of airport regulations, examines uh, firefighting equipment to detect malfunction and fields depleted fire extinguishers. They also perform minor repairs on fire trucks and tractors, patrols air airfield to ensure security of safe of aircraft and uh, facilities. Records airport data, such as the number of planes stored in hangars, plane landings and departures, and number of passengers carried on planes. The next is the flight information expeditor. So the flight information expeditor determines flight times of airplanes and transmits information to flight operations and air traffic command centers, evaluates data such as weather conditions, flight plans, ramp delays, and en route stopovers to determine arrival and departure times for each flight using aids such as weather charts, slide rules, and computer. So they also transmit identity and type of airplane, flight locations, time of arrival and departure, and names of crew members to air traffic command to obtain clearance for flight over restricted areas. They also notify relevant departments of airlines of pending arrival of inbound flights to ensure that personnel are available to load or unload fuel, baggage, and cargo. The next is the airport manager. The airport manager plans, directs, and coordinates through subordinate personnel. Activities concerned with the construction and maintenance of airport facilities and operation of airport in accordance with governmental agency or commission policies and regulations. They also consult with commission members, government officials, or representatives of airlines to discuss and plan such matters as design and development of airport facilities, formulation of operating rules, regulations, and procedures of aircraft landing, taxiing and takeoff patterns for various types of aircraft, negotiates with representatives of airlines, utility companies, or individuals for acquisition of property for development of airport, lease of airport, buildings and facilities, or use of rights of way over private property. Then they inspect airport facilities such as runways, buildings, vacons, and lighting, and then automotive or construction equipment formulates procedures to be used in case of aircraft accidents, fire, and other emergencies. The airport manager coordinates activities of personnel involved in the repair and maintenance of airport facilities, buildings, and equipment to minimize interruption of airport operations, directs personnel in investigating violations of aerial or ground traffic regulations. They also review investigation reports and initiates actions to be taken against violators. While the station manager, they direct and coordinate airline station activities at transport stations located at airports to provide services for scheduled flight operations. 
Then they also review station activity reports, so a certain data required for planning station operations, directs preparation of work schedules to obtain maximum utilization of manpower and facilities, coordinates activities of passenger reservations and ticketing, passenger services, ramp and cargo services, and dispatching of aircraft to ensure operations to meet company and government policies and regulations. They also direct preparation of passenger list, cargo manifest, and plans for storage of cargo and baggage aboard aircraft. Then we also have the chief airport guide. So the chief airport guide supervises and coordinates activities of workers engaged in conducting guided tours at airport, arranges tour according to interest of groups such as school children, foreign visitors, and civic or private organizations. They also schedule tours to avoid interruption of airport operations and minimize congestion and assigns workers to guide tours. Then now let's proceed with the jobs that you may apply to in the travel agency sector. So the travel agency is a leg legally appointed agent representing the principal in a certain geographic area. The agency acts as a broker and brings the buyer and seller together for the other suppliers such as hotels, car rentals, ground operators, and tour companies. So there are actually several jobs that exist in the travel agency. So we are going to discuss them one by one. First, we have the travel agent. So typically, the travel agent plans itineraries and arranges accommodations and other travel services for customers of travel agency. Uh, they also converse with customers to determine destination mode of transportation, travel dates, financial considerations, and accommodations required. They also plan or describe and sell itinerary package tour, gives customer brochures and publications concerning travel and containing information regarding local customs, points of interest, and special events occurring in various locations or foreign country, regulations such as consular requirements, rates of monetary exchange, and currency limitations. They also compute cost of travel and accommodations or quotes cost of package tours and books customer on transportation carrier and makes hotel reservations. Another job is the Travel Information Center Supervisor. So uh, the Travel Information Center Supervisor supervises and coordinates activities of workers engaged in greeting and welcoming motorists at state highway information centers then they provide information such as directions road conditions and vehicular travel regulations and provides maps then they also give brochures and pamphlets to assist motorists in locating points of interest or in reaching the destination then another one is the tour operator. So the tour operator is the wholesale agent of the travel industry. The primary function of the wholesaler is the design of tours and travel packages on a large scale. Then market these packages to the retail travel agent and the major airline carriers. Tour operators range from the very large to small independent operators specializing in specific geographic regions then the travel benefits available to the tour operator are similar to those of the travel agent. They are usually free or reduced air travel and trips as potential promotable destinations are frequently available. So another one is the tourist information assistant. So the tourist information assistant provides information and travel services to tourists at information center. So they usually assist them in their travel needs. They also provide information as to itineraries and advises them on traffic regulations. And then they also give information about resorts, historical sites, scenic areas, and other tourist attractions around the destination. And we also have the tour guide. So tour guide escorts visitors around the city or tourist destination and points of interest 
along the route of tour using public address or maybe they can also use megaphones and they may collect fees or tickets and plan refreshments and may be required to speak a foreign language when communicating to foreign visitors. Now let's move to hotels and motels. So here are the following jobs that you can take in the hotel and motel sector. First is the hotel manager. So he or she manages a hotel or a motel to ensure efficient and um, profitable operations, establishes standards for personal administration and performance, service to patrons, room, room rates, advertising, publicity. Then we also have the credit and food selection and service and type of patronage to be solicited. They also plans, uh, dining room, bar, and banquet operations, allocates funds, authorizes expenditures, and assists in planning budgets for departments. They also uh, in, are in charge in hiring personnel and delegates authorities and assigns responsibilities to the department heads. Next is the lodging facilities manager. So he or she manages and maintains temporary or permanent lodging facilities such as small apartment houses, small hotels, trailer parks, and boat marinas. They, they also purchase supplies and arranges for outside services such as fuel delivery, laundry, maintenance and repair, and trash collection. Then cleans public areas such as entrances, halls, and laundry rooms, and makes minor electrical, plumbing, and structural repairs if necessary. So we also have here the hotel clerk. So the hotel clerk performs a combination of duties for guests of hotels, motels, or motor lodges, or condominium hotels. So they also register and assign rooms to guests, issues room keys, transmits and receives messages, then answers inquiries pertaining to hotel services, registration of guests, shopping, dining, entertainment, and travel directions. They also keep records of room availability and guest accounts and computes bills and collects payments. Another one is the sales representative. So they usually contact prospective customers to sell hotel products and services. The next is we have the cruise line jobs. So first we have here the cruise line director. So the cruise line director is responsible for all daily activities, planning, entertainment, and port of call information for passengers. The next is the documentation supervisor. So he or she supervises and coordinates activities of workers engaged in preparing shipping documents and related reports and in classifying and rating cargo according to established tariff rates, review ship schedules and booking records to plan and schedule work activities and assigns um, activities to workers and reviews rating. Then we also have the chief cabin attendant, or sometimes they are also called as chief steward or stewardess. So they usually supervise and coordinate activities of personnel in the stewards department or cabin attendance department. Then uh, they supervise as workers engaged in housekeeping and meal serving arranges spaces for shipboard recreation activities, inspects passenger areas for cleanliness and observes services rendered by steward personnel for conformity to company standards. Next is the social director. So he or she plans and organizes recreational activities and creates a friendly atmosphere for guests in hotels or resorts for passengers on board ships, greets new arrivals, introduces them to other guests, acquaints them with recreation facilities, and encourages them to participate in group activities. Then next, we have the booking supervisor. So he or she supervises and coordinates activities of workers engaged in booking shipments of cargo 
on ships and keeping booking control records to ensure maximum utilization of cargo spaces, reviews records of booking, studies plans of cargo spaces to determine type of tonnage that can be booked on each ship to obtain maximum revenue and utilize available cargo space and assign booking duties to workers. Okay, next we have the motor coach job. So here are the possible motor coach job that you can acquire after you graduate. So first we have the bus dispatcher. So he or she dispatches long distance buses according to schedule and then oversees bus drivers and bus attendants while they are at the terminal. They also issue orders for station departure of buses at specified hours or according to schedule. Also, they arrange extra buses and drivers in case of accidents or heavy traffic and announces incoming and outgoing buses over public address systems in bus terminals. And of course, we have the bus attendant. So he or she renders a variety of personal services to bus passengers to make their trip pleasant welcomes passengers boarding the bus, adjusts seating arrangements to accommodate passengers when requested, answers questions about bus schedules, travel routes, and bus services, points out places of interest, and distributes newspapers, magazines, pillows, and blankets. And lastly, we have the dispatcher clerk. So he or she schedules work for bus crew or individual workers and keeps time records, enters names of workers on assign, assignment sheet for each trip on the basis of seniority, notifies workers of assignment, establishes availability, and assigns replacement for crew when needed. Next are the jobs that you can find in the car rental industry. So first, we have here the sales rental agent. So uh, the sales rental agent greets customers and helps them find suitable cars for their needs. Since their possession requires public contact, the sales rental agents must possess a pleasant and outgoing personalities and have an overall good appearance. Agents are trained in computerized reservations and billing procedures, as well as communication skills such as proper telephone manners and customer relations. Then we also have the reservation agent. So the reservation agents work directly over the phone with requests from airline reservation clerks, travel agents, and the general public. They check the availability of cars in the city requested and take all pertinent information, including a credit card number to secure the reservation. Then we also have the automobile rental clerk. So he or she rents automobiles to customers at airports, hotels, marinas, and other locations, talks to customers to determine type of automobile desired and be picked up and returned, and number of days repaired. They also examine customer's driver's license and determines amount of deposit required, quotes cost of rental based on per day or per mile rates, then completes rental contract and obtain, obtains customer signature and deposit and computes rental charges based on rental time, miles traveled, type of car rented, taxes, and other incidental charges incurred. And we also have jobs for the gaming entertainment in uh, industry. So career opportunities in the gaming entertainment industry are actually unlimited. They are divided into five career tracks, namely hotel operations, food and beverage operations, casino operations, retail operations, and entertainment operations. So for hotel operations, actually the career opportunities in gaming industry hotel operations are very similar to the career opportunities in the full service hotel industry. The only exception is that food and beverage can be a separate division and not part of the hotel operations. The rooms and guest services departments offer the most opportunities for students of hospitality management. 
For the food and beverage operations, there are many career opportunities in restaurant management and the culinary arts. The gaming industry has many food and beverage outlets, including restaurants, hotel room service, banquets and conventions, and retail outlets. There are actually many executive level management positions in both front and back of the house, food and beverage operations in gaming entertainment operations. Next is the casino operations. So these are divided into five functional areas. We have the gaming operations staff, casino service staff, marketing staff, human resources staff, and finance and administration staff. So gaming operations staff includes slot machine technicians, table game dealers, and table game supervisors. While the, the casino service staff include security, purchasing, maintenance, engineers, while the marketing staff includes public relations, market representatives, and advertising professionals. And then we also have the human resources staff includes in the hiring process. And then we also have the administration Staff includes the lawyers, accounts payables, audit, income control specialists. So there are career opportunities in each of the functional areas. As to retail operations, the increased emphasis on non-gaming sources of revenue in gaming entertainment business demands and expertise in all aspects of operations from store design and layout to product selection, merchandising, and sales control. So career opportunities exist in retail operations. So typically in here, um, your job is on selling merchandise items. The next is the entertainment operation. So because of the emphasis on entertainment, there are there exist career opportunities for those interested in stage and theater production, lighting and box office management, and talent management and booking. So if you have the skills, you have the talent, and you want to work in the entertainment operation of the casino, uh, of the gaming and entertainment industry, then you are uh, so free to have a career in this field. All right, so that's the end of our discussion. Hopefully, you learn a lot. And if you have questions or comments, you may just post your comments to this video. So thank you so much, everyone, and see you on our next lesson. Goodbye.